You can run, but you can't hide from bad episodes of season five, Rick and Morty, bitch. That's right. It's top ten. Best episodes of all time. Worst episodes of all time. All the time. Every time. First of all, this is going to be a long one. So we got to get two things out of the way. One is Z was right about Red Letter Media doing a review of Malignant. I knew they couldn't help themselves, so they went and did it. What does this have to do with Rick and Morty, bitch? Well, it's just the point is uh, drink less beer. It's Polish beer. It's the best beer you can ever have. Drink it. It's good. Also, side benefit. Pint bottles quite big for the Polish Peggies. Mmm. Yeah. So if you're Cara Delevingne, you should you get should them come, Polish Peggies. Come at me with these. I'll buy a case. You come over. We'll make the magic happen. Oh, uh, we'll peg. Yeah. My we'll girlfriend will watch. Mmm. Tasty. Maybe join in. So, uh, oh, she gonna? Are you gonna take two at one time? Probably. <laughs> oh God, yes. God willing. Oh my God. So, uh, you've heard what we've had to say about season five of Rick and Morty. If How you haven't? Oh yeah, check it out right here. We can actually do that. We did it. It'll cover our faces, but yeah, you can actually see where we say that we predicted that season five would suck. And it did with a caveat because ultimately it sucked, but we were given the uh, benefit of well, like at least a couple good episodes, which we will go over here now. We will. Oh, wasn't this a recommendation from our, our boy Isaac? Oh, that's right. We would like to thank Isaac for giving us the idea of putting uh, the top 10 together of this season so we could rank them. So we're going to rank them in our order, which is the best order. And I'm sure Isaac will tell us his heartfelt thoughts about why we're wrong in every way. I hope he does. So yeah. looking forward to that debate here. Make sure you tell us in the comments how wrong we are because we're often wrong. Anyway, uh, we're wrong in some ways, but right in the others. Where the critics seem to love this season, which they're a bunch of jackholes. There's 22 of them, let's be honest. There's not that many. But the audience, not so favorable. There's not a ton of them. percent is garbage. Yes. I would give it a 50%. I mean, that's it's not like a zero. They weren't like unwatchable, but yeah, 50% they're not okay. great. Yeah. They ain't great. But let's, uh, we're going to go through the episodes, give you an idea what we're yeah. thinking. We're gonna say our, we're gonna go in descending order. So our number one episode will the be first. The best episode will be number one. They did save it for last though. Because they it's did episode ten. That's right, Rick Mariah Jack, number one in our hearts. Where they gave us everything we wanted, and they're probably never gonna give it to us again. No, they're just gonna you know they're done. They gave us an anime opening with Rick and Two Crows, and they ended with Evil Morty disappearing into wherever the infinite curve loophole without yeah thanks to the guy who said that we don't know what the infinite curve is even and though we he described never answered it us. never answered us what a dick what a coward isaac what's the infinite curve you can tell us anyway i described what the infinite curve was and anyway morty is going to exist outside of it so he fu you know a person who was never supposed to exist will now exist outside of the curve that rick created it's like a double rainbow yeah absolutely so we're going to say that's number one. Easily. Easily. Easily number one. What's number two? Then everything else is a little dicey. I think number two is, well, I guess number two is episode nine. I will concur with that because you can't go wrong with two crows. You just can't. And it's got the wheel of Rick. It does. Which the wheel of, and uh, puddle, uh, puddle Jerry. Puddle Jerry that never actually gets resolved. That plot line. I forget if it, yeah, I don't think it did. Pretty sure it doesn't. The two crows was a little weird, but it was, I don't know. It was weird in a good way. Weird in a good way. I mean, I do enjoy the uh, the Wheel of Rick. Wheel of Rick is good. I don't like the guest star. I will say that. Oh, I'm not the, a fan uh, of... Yeah, the whole po uh, the portal side plot. The like, portal boys. Could have been better. Portal boys. I like the portal boys hashtag, but I don't like the portal boys plot line. No. What, it was his name Nick? Yeah, Nick. It was just... It was carried by the Rick and Two Crows. Yeah, it was carried by plot the... plot line. Yeah, we'll go with the Rick and Two Crows, but... As far as like episodes, it's not like the worst episode. It, it, you know, it was okay. It's acceptable in any other season. It was definitely not one of the best. And then number three is uh, one of my favorites is episode six, Rick and Morty's Thanksploitation Spectacular. You get lucky with this one because... It had the president. Yeah, you're lucky that I'm such a big fan of uh, Keith David. Keith David's awesome. He is a phenomenal... I mean, he's always been phenomenal as president and having him in here... 
just makes everything better. He's also, by the way, one of the best at, like, he's in the thing, the best horror movie ever made. I mean, Halloween. Make sure you go see that horror movie. Absolutely not. But make sure you catch Kurt Russell and Keith David in the thing. One of the best movies ever made as far as horror. Keith David die? Spoiler alert. I'm not gonna tell you. Oh my god! Gotta watch it. Was he in the remake? Gotta watch it. Oh, you course. know who's in the remake? The Mary remake. Elizabeth Winstead. Oh my god, and she's not very attractive she's in hot. that either. Not at all. I love it when she gets frostbite. Fuck. This is the one that's about. Does she get it on her boobies? Anyway, this is the one about the turkeys. The turkeys that take over yes. and they find out presidential yeah. turkey pardons. It's weird because Rick's not as smart as everyone thinks he is, which is kind of a theme, which is weird because if he made the infinite curve where only Rick is always the smartest man in the universe, which also doesn't make sense canonically because there's dumb, dumb Rick, right? There is dumb, dumb Rick. So that none of it really makes sense. Like, obviously, they just threw all this nonsense together with the writers that they had. That was the garbage. other episode. There was another. Was it the season where they had that the grouping of Rick's? Remember, there was like little boy Rick and little Ricky. Yeah, like the gangster Ricks and like the yeah, it, it was not good. Yeah. Uh, so that was that was top three. Then it gets a little dicey. I, yeah, I guess we're starting we, to slip and slide. I now. guess we went to episode one where there was Nimbus and Nimbus was. Eh. He was okay. Mm, I'm Nimbus. I, I don't know why he wanted to fuck everything. I don't know, but he's Aquaman and kind of in a rapey way. Yeah, he's like sexual. I do like that this is, there is concurrent themes through this season where you see Morty cleaning up after Rick's messes, but I don't think it's strong enough to really make any sense. It's like they had a through line, like a string of an idea, but they never really completed it. And Beth and Jerry having an orgy or whatever with Nimbus, not particularly funny or interesting. That was so all I remember from the episode is that they were contemplating wanting to have an orgy at the very end. I remember very Morty end. trying to get wine the whole time so that he could like... Or he went to bang Jessica, right? Yeah, but that never actually, yeah. whatever. So not super exciting, but whatever. It's, it's still there. It's an episode. It's a I thing. Know, I guess top five to round it off would be episode eight, which was... Uh. Uh, that's the, the one the where they go inside and bird inception. person's brain. Not a funny episode, but it does have some canon things. High concept episode. Yeah, they jam a lot in there. and We, we get the first tease of that his Beth is dead. Yeah, we get the first tease of that, which seems like they're trying to go with canon and remake canon and I don't know. There's a little a hint of squanchy, which is not enough squanchy. You can never have enough squanchy. So... Not funny, but it was an episode. And then you can pretty much put the top, the, the bottom rest, five. bottom five in any order that you want because they are all garbaggio. That's not necessarily true because there are the worst of the worst. And that is a tie between episode five. Oh, so you're going to go to the worst of the worst? We are. Oh, so we're going to skip. We're going to okay. skip the middle trash because they're so forgettable. Like, what? What? what what's the middle ones? What did we What did we miss? We, uh, Morty Plicity. Why? Morty Plissy just like okay, that so that's stupid. the one where they had a you know all the hid the backups for the backups for the backups for the backups. Like it would have been a cool joke if they would have added two more plot lines, but they forgot to add two more plot lines. Sp- speaking of which, go back and watch the episode from season one where uh, they have Snowball, and there's three plots going through that one. They have to incept because of Snowball, but they also have to go down one level because of... It's like five levels. I thought, yeah. I forgot how They have to do was. Inception, but then they also run into one of the more memorable characters. Scary Terry. Scary Terry. Oh, so you, you're going down like all these levels because it's super awesome, right? And then there's Snowball, the greatest one-off character ever. Yeah, they never ever go back to Scary Terry or Snowball. Two amazing characters in one episode. How do you get that? So anyway, multiplicity has no additional plot lines. It's yeah. literally one plot line that just keeps going through. The only funny part is the very, very, very end where they have oh, uh, stick wooden Jerry. stick yeah. Jerry going through like the nonsense. So that one's really bad. Rick Convenient Mort straight up don't remember what that is. Well, you have to go with the worst episode. Do you want to go with the worst episode ever? Oh, um, um, a Morty can graffiti? No, I think... Oh, okay. So it's I think it's a tie between Rick's Dependence Day and Rick American Graffiti. So American Graffiti is the one that's so not memorable, we couldn't even remember what it was about. 
That's the one that's a. It the seems. Demons trying to have sex with Jerry. But it seems like a ripoff of the dragon episode, the sex dragon ex- episode, but not as memorable or Razor funny. It was a Hellraiser spoof, right? I think. It was a Hellraiser spoof, but not memorable or interesting on yeah. any level. Like nothing. They're like, we like Jerry because he's cringy. Really? Really? We've been watching five seasons of this stuff, and you're going to tell me, like, yeah, in season like one, we figured that Jerry was cringy. We don't need you to tell us he's cringy. Like, duh. Uh, yeah, literally one of my favorite jokes is the coyote and the wind. The coyote eats his unemployment check, and the wind says loser. And you think we don't know he's cringy? You have to tell us that with a bunch of Cenobites. Really? Then there's Rick Pendant's Day Spray. This is just a terrible episode all it's around. It's focused around sperm. Yeah, specifically Morty sperm. The only thing that was amusing about this was the machine that he yes, dabbles with. Yes, there was one with. good joke, and I forget how he phrased it, but he's basically asking How him, was it yeah. diddling the like, diddle machine? Amazing, and then he gets captured. But then there's like some weird... Rick has a horse death. baby. They have an incest baby, which makes a reappearance they in another mo- terrible they episode. Make some woke female jokes, I think. Oh, they keep beating the whole of like, yeah, Women's women, no one or, listens to women, yeah, like whatever. Go. I don't, I can't remember because I don't listen to women. Yeah. Then you have Gotron. How do you mess up Voltron? That was sad. It's sad that they met. It they mixed like the mafia with Voltron. Oh, that was the mafia episode. Not That's funny. Right. Yeah. Nothing like about it was funny. Weird conglomerate of episodes of why are they doing this? Because, you know, they're hinting at, you know, Rick can get real Ricky and he can get real um, obsessed with things because they're hinting at the two crows episode because you know when they write this they sit in a writer's room they're like oh my god we're gonna hint at how obsessed that Rick can get because Rick is you know he's gonna get obsessed so we're gonna show him get obsessed with Voltrons inside of Voltrons inside of Voltrons inside of Voltrons Voltrons." not funny dumb dumb what are, are, are we missing one? Uh, I I think we hit all of them. We did. Didn't we uh, we did. Yes. If we missed one, let us know down below. If we missed one, it's because it was so forgettable that we forgot it existed. I think we hit all of them. What's yeah. Rick? Convi- oh no, we did forget one. What the hell is Rick convenient more? That's the one with Planetina. No. Oh. I kind of like that one, but it, the ending and just in general, so flawed that it just doesn't hit the mark. I like the idea of him getting a girlfriend. I like the, you know, Morty getting a girlfriend. I like the idea of him, her being older and all of those things, but he had the five rings like Thanos and then he literally, they do nothing with it. Yeah. And he forgets that he even has them. Speaking of which, do you even remember that Sarah Schalke is even in this season? Uh, yeah, I think. Do you remember her doing anything? They had the whole reveal of alternate reality Beth and they're just like yeah we don't care about Beth oh yeah that's right fake Beth and there was it wasn't the whole episode season 4 finale like the two Beths fighting each other or something yeah and that really awesome song there was no good songs in this season either that's by true. the way they didn't care the the song from the season finale of season 4 is amazing I love that song I and I love the the evil Morty theme like I learned how to play that on piano like those songs they they used to have something special here and it's gone even even Chris Parnell, who's amazing as Jerry, absolutely phenomenal, literally wasted, did nothing this season. They turned him into a puddle and left him. That yeah, poor man, just abandoned him. He deserves justice. It is sad. Justice so. for Puddle, uh, Puddle, what the hell's his name? Puddle, puddle Jerry. Jerry. Sad. Hashtag Puddle Jerry. So that's our assessment of the top 10 of Rick and Morty season five. Yes. Disappointment. We rank them. We rank them. We, we don't know what order they were, but tell we tell us you. your rankings too. Yeah, if we're wrong, because we did them completely out of order, and I don't even know. We did a top five, so you get that. We did. So at least you get the top five. If you disagree, tell us in the chat. Let us know. Come at us, bro. But otherwise, make sure that you share this video, and you also like it. Or Noob Noob could potentially do this. I will grab that horse jerking off machine and make my own sperm army and send it against you. But also, no, I won't. I will make it my children because I'm infertile and then I, I can't have children and I, I just want sperm children to pet and play with and maybe, you know, 
play Jenga and trans Jenga with. Oh my god, a trans Jenga sperm child. That's oh my god. He just found a new achievement in good life. If you don't like enough videos, I will have a trans Jenga sperm child. That's on you. Yeah. If you want that in life, then don't like it. If you if you do want it, then like it. Either way, like it. Or don't like it. Yeah. We don't care. Do it either way. I care a little bit. Please like it. No, you don't like it too. I care. Dislike. Oh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Red, Red Letter Media, which I was right about, uh, they wanted to make one of their videos the most disliked video ever on on all of the internets or YouTube or whatever. I don't know. But be sure to check out our full-length audio podcast. You can catch that. It's a really nice subscribe, something fun for you to hang out, chill with us, listen to some good, some good jazz as we banter back and forth and rant and rave. You can catch that on Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, all those good places, Google Play even. And be sure to catch us on our live stream on this right here, YouTube. You can catch it right here. Come join us. Join us in the chat. Tell us how wrong or right we are. Z's always right. New boom, not so much. Anyway, that's 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Fridays. Chill out, get done work, come join us. Come hang out, because that's where the party is. That's where our people are. You get all those great people in our chat. You'll come meet them. They're awesome. Make some new friends. It's all good. I have so much back sweat. Oh, my God. He's so sweaty. So uh, we're clearly just going to go on. Sweating to the next one. Sweating to the next one like we sweat to the oldies and get on to the next one.